and I am a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. I am a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. And I don't know who this word is for, but I know there's somebody out there that woke up this morning and you didn't even know why you woke up. Been trying to figure out your purpose, clawing at a job that you know you don't like to get paid less than your value. And there's a dream on the inside that's been saying, do this, do this. Because of the confusions of the day and all the insecurities and all the stress and all the doubt and all the disbelief, the voices swirling around in your head. Been psyching yourself out of what your soul has known the entire time. That you were meant to do something great. That you were meant to do something powerful. Well, I want to tell you today, if nobody has told you, if you woke up this morning, it was all in purpose, on purpose. You were not an accident. There was a reason. Regardless if you have no money, regardless if you got fired, regardless if there's a divorce on the table, regardless if you've been physically abused or molested or anything, anything that has to do with anything in life, if you got a chance to wake up this morning, that means you're still being worked on. And if you're still being worked on, then that means you're being groomed for a purpose much greater than yourself. I need you to see yourself. I'm not talking about the one that you see in the mirror every day, faking in front of friends, and then when you look in the mirror when the truth shows up, and you're crying. You're like, what the hell happened to my life? How did I get here? How did I get in this jail cell? How did I get at the bottom of this bottle? How did I get in this abusive relationship and I'm still in it and I don't know how to get out? I'm telling you, if you woke up this morning, it was all in purpose, on purpose, part of a much specific higher design. The greatest promotion ever in the history of life is you've been, pro been promoted another day. Wake up, my son. Wake up, my daughter. Wake up, king. Wake up, queen. I got something else on the table for you, but I need you to be strong enough and resilient enough to be able to hold it, to be able to withstand it. So I need you to wake up, king. I need you to wake up, queen. There's so much more to so much more to so much more to so much more, but I need you to get back up and fight for it. You've been fighting your whole life. You've been working your whole life why not work for your freedom? Why not fight for your freedom? I need you to wake up, king. I need you to wake up, queen. You're in purpose, on purpose. And I know that you can't see me, but you can't see the air neither, but you trust that you got another breath. Wake up, king. Wake up, queen. My name is Garen Stefan Jones, and I am a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. Who are you? You are not your doubts. You are not broke. You are not your insecurities. You are not the fight that leaves you on your knees, crying and screaming, what the hell is wrong with me? That's not you. All of those were lies. That was created. Those were stories that were created from your brain. But when you were born, the first sign of life was not your brain before the brain is even thought of. The first sign of life is the heartbeat and what comes from the heart goes into the heart. But I need you to wake up, King. It's a lot of people that didn't get the opportunity to wake up. So if you woke up, just know that 
you in the present is the greatest gift that you can give to the universe. But I need you to be authentic. I need you to be real. Whether you gay, straight, white, black, pink, purple, stripes, whatever it is that you truly identify with yourself, not what somebody else told you, what you told you. Will the real you stand up? My name is Garen Jones, and I am a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. Who are you? But I need you to fight for it. I need you to fight for it. Whatever has power over you becomes your God. So why pray to the alcohol? Why pray to sleeping around? Why pray to the drugs? Why pray to the, to, the, to the comparison and the doubts and the deceits and being broke? Why pray to those things? Take the power away from those things and give it back to where it came from and allow the power of co-creation to filter through all of the systems in your life. You got a hundred trillion cells in your body. And whatever you tell yourself, their only command is yes. So when you wake up in the morning, march yourself to the mirror, pick your chest up, pick your head up, hold it high, and know if you woke up, you are in purpose, on purpose. And you look yourself in the mirror, I'm not talking about the fake self, because God can't bless who you pretend to be. The greatest gift that you can give to the world is you in your authentic form, just like you came into this world. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I am a champion. I am great. I am resilient. I am powerful. I am a king. I am queen. I am successful in every area of my life. I love myself. I love no matter what. I am courageous. I am brave. I am that I am. And whatever you tell yourself most will show up as the physical equivalent of your life. So if you don't like yourself, if you don't like your life, that'll be a direct reflection of what you've been telling yourself. So tell yourself another story. Matter of fact, listen to these words. You were born into truth. And the only truth there is in this life is love. So if there's any doubt in your heart, if there's any resentment in your heart, if you can't forgive yourself, if you can't forgive somebody else, if you can't apologize, if you can't accept, accept somebody's apology, that's only saying to the universe, I do not love myself enough to be who I came into this world as. My name is Garen Jones, and I am a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. I've seen it with my own eyes, my own life. Living in my car for two and a half years, I didn't care whether I live or I died. But I, a little voice inside said, Garen, get back up and keep going. And you don't have to live my story. You didn't have to go to jail for two and a half years overseas to feel like you're in bars and trapped inside of your mind, to feel like you're vacant inside of your soul. The cemetery is not where you see the most dead people. It's where you walk around every single day and see all these millions of people with something that's died inside of them. But wake up, king. Wake up, queen. Stand in your purpose. Stand in your power. Stand in your resilience. Stand in your greatness. Stand in your love. Stand in your truth. Stand in your greatness and allow yourself to be seen for the first time in your life. Now will the real you stand up and share with the world who you really are? Not what your mom say, not what your dad say, not what your girlfriend say, not what your boyfriend say, not what your husband say, not what your wife say. What do you say about you? Because the day that you walk out into the world and you allow yourself to truly be seen. That will be your declaration of independence. Because you can't be free if you are a slave to the mentality that you have on the inside that was controlled by the radio, 
by the news, by TV, by the outside influences that didn't really know the you that you know inside. You want to celebrate Independence Day? Take possession of your own mind and rise up queen, rise up king. My name is Garen Stefan Jones. And I'm a powerful force of love and freedom, inspiring greatness within myself and others. Who are you? Allow yourself to be truly, truly, truly seen. And watch how the universe shows up for you. That is my affirmation. That is my story. And I know exactly who I am, exactly what I'm doing, exactly where I'm going. Let's get this life. Let's go.